Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today I'll be sharing with you what I tied to the tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share the video, and be blessed in the name of Jesus. For those that are subscribed, I appreciate you so much. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, I thank you for this grace. I pray that this message will be a blessing to all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Who are those referred to as the tree planted by the rivers of water? And what is the purpose for being planted by the rivers of water? Hallelujah. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the way of the sinners, not sitting in the seat of his comfort, but his delight is in the law of the law, and in his law do it meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in the season, that his leaves shall not wither. Hallelujah. We see the definition of those that are being planted by the rivers of water. Praise Jesus. Those that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, that stand not in the way of the sinners, that sit not in the seat of discomfort. And those three categories, ungodly, sinners, discomfort, they are still referring to a particular set of people, the sinners, the ungodly. Praise Jesus. And whosoever that meditate on the word of God day and night and do the word of God, those are, those are the people planted by the rivers of water. Praise Jesus. And why, why are the righteous being planted by the rivers of water? To bear fruit. Praise Jesus. Fruit that will glorify the name of God. Praise Jesus. You see, there is a good lesson to take away from this message. To look at the tree. See yourself as a tree planted by the rivers of water. You see, when a tree that is planted that is planted by the rivers of water, when it's growing, the people that are passing by, some will spit on that tree, some will throw rubbish at that tree, some might even go by that tree and pee there, do number one by that tree. You see, and that tree will not, because of that, move away from where it's been planted, because the master. That plant the tree there. No, that is the best place for that tree to be. To bring fruits that will glorify my name. Praise Jesus. And when that tree now becomes big. And start bearing fruit. Some will come to that tree to take fruit. After they eat that fruit. The seed of the fruit and the remain of it. They will even throw it at that tree. Spit on it. The tree will still keep quiet. And if that set of people still come back for fruit, the tree will not deny them. And some, they will come to that tree. They will take fruit. After eating the fruit, they will bless that tree. They will say all kinds of sweet things to that tree. The tree will still remain who it is. Humble. But not because of that. Say this is the only set of people that will allow to take fruit from me. The tree does not discriminate from bad people, from good people, from rich people, from poor people. The tree never discriminates. It gives fruit to whosoever that comes to take fruit. Praise Jesus. And remember, the righteous are referred to as a tree. Planted by the rivers of water. So when I'm mentioning tree now, just picture yourself as that tree. Praise Jesus. And when that tree becomes old, that has been planted for decades, that tree will still bear fruit. So many people have tree at their backyard that have been there for years, and that tree is still bringing forth fruit. Praise Jesus. And Psalm 92 from verse 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. 
They shall still bring forth fruit in their old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. You see now that even though when the tree is old, it still brings forth fruit. Praise Jesus. Maybe you're listening to me right now. You think there's no longer, there's no age on your side anymore. You feel you are too old to bear fruit. I prophesize upon you according to the scripture that they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. You will bring forth fruit even at your old age in the name of Jesus. No matter what has happened to your youthful age, now you bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, the fruit, I mean, the, the, the tree, some are planted in the city. Some are planted in the forest. The one that are planted in the city will gain so much attention from people. Coming around to take fruit, all kind of people will be coming. And the one planted in the forest will gain less attention. Nobody might even go to that tree to take fruit for a whole year or in a season because it's been planted in the forest. And that tree will not be because nobody comes to take fruit and now say, oh, I will no longer bear fruit anymore since nobody is coming to take fruit from me. Because you know that fruit is not because of peace, not to please people, but to please the master that have planted it there. Because you never know the day that the master will come. To check the fruit. Remember what happened in the Mark 11 when Jesus was passing by a fig tree and was there to take fruit. There was no fruit on that tree. He caused that tree and that tree withered. I prophesy that the master will not curse you in the name of Jesus. That you will not wither in the name of Jesus. You will not disappoint the master in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. You see, John chapter 15. From verse 1, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man, the vine dresser. That is the voice of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away. The one that bears fruit, he prunes, nurtures, fertilizes, so that he can bring forth much fruit. Praise Jesus. The one that remains where it's been planted, the master will be will, will continue to nurture such person, such tree, so that it can bring forth much fruit to glorify his name. Praise Jesus. The, his, his father says, Abide in me and I in you, as no branch can bring forth fruit or bear fruit, except he abide in the vine. Praise Jesus. I am the vine, ye are the branches. You see, ye are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him shall bring forth fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Praise Jesus. That is why the tree has to remain where it's been planted. You see, that's someone that says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the way of the sinners, not sitting in the seat. Of his comfort, but his delight is in the law of the law, and in his law dwell it may day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring up forth his fruit in a season, that his leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. You see, the next verse says, But the ungodly, you see, the ungodly are not so, they are like a chaff which the wind driveth away. Hallelujah. You see, the ungodly are not so. That is, they can never be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. They are like a chaff, the worthless, the unworthy, that the wind drives away. And the Father said, The ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Marike Sendrika Solia. See that, that that what that scripture says it defines the people that have been planted by the rivers of water, and that invitation is open to everybody. It's a choice to decide 
to be planted by the rivers of water and begin to bear fruit that will be glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, why the tree goes through a lot of challenges, why some people will spit on that tree, some people will say all kind of manners, all kind of things to that tree, throw all kind of things to that tree, some people, even the wind will come, the storm will come, the tree will still remain where it is. You know, because of that, move away. And the song that that tree will probably be singing at that time of challenges, of trouble. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. But holy lean on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. You see, why they are doing all kind of things to that tree? The tree will be seen my hope. Is in Christ Jesus. Why some that will come to take fruit saying all kind of sweet things, even though they say sweet things, all kind of whatsoever good things to that tree, the tree can still never trust their heart because they are also flesh. I dare not trust the sweetest friend, but holy lean on Jesus' name. Because that name is a rock. That will ever nurture the tree to continue to bear fruit. And in the time of challenges, in the time of trouble, James chapter 1 from verse 2 says, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patient. But let patient have a perfect work, that he may be perfect. Entire and wanting nothing. Praise Jesus. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 35 to 36 also says. Cast not away therefore. Your, your, your confidence. Which have a great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. After ye have done the will of God. That you, have, you may receive the promise. Hallelujah. You see patience. That is one of the attributes. Of the, of the tree. Why is in the process? Why is 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 growing? It, it remain there patiently, so that I can bear fruit that will glorify the name of the master. Why they are doing all kind of evil things to it? Patient. You see, a young man came to a pastor. He said, "Pastor, please pray for me." Pastor said, "For what?" He said, "I need the gift of patience." Pastor said, when do you need it? He said, now, right away. Then the pastor said, there is no longer a gift of patience you need if you want it right away. Then you need the gift of anxiety. Hallelujah. I pray that anxiety will be far from you in the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. You see, that tree, even though people come to take fruit, they, they say all kind of good things to that fruit, the fruit will still remain humble. Keep quiet. You will not because of that. Feel is better than anyone. Because that fruit is not meant for the tree. That is why the tree does not take from its own fruit. The fruit is to serve the people of God and to bring glory to the Lord. The fruit is not when the tree start bearing fruit and, and people come in, all kind of things, people come in to, to take fruit from it. The tree will not because of that. Think is better than other people or make it make himself feel highly more than other people. And he will not he will not eat from his own fruit. So you don't turn the gift, the talent of God in your life into business. It's to serve the people of God and to bring glory to the Lord. You see, Lord Jesus Himself, they speak to him, they slap him, they did all kind of if we wicked things to him, they treated him like a criminal. 
But he never, because of that, compromised his purpose. He never, because of that, turned his back at God. For God made him to be sinner, to be seen. Who knew no sin? That we may be made righteousness of God in him. That was why he became a sinner. He was made sin. Made him to be a sin for us. Who knew no sin. Even at that all what they did to him. He never compromised. Even the people that crucified him. He never killed them. Because he has the power to do so. If you want to. Praise Jesus. Learn from the tree. Planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. If you are listening to me right now and you also want to be planted, want to be planted by the rivers of water and begin to bear fruit, you want to accept Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior so that you can begin to bear fruit that will be like an, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable and well pleasing unto the Lord. If you're willing, or maybe you have given your life to Christ. And you have taken it back. And you want to rededicate your life to Christ right now. If you are willing to do so, please say this short prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. I believe you are the Son of God. You died and God raised you up the third day. And you live forevermore. Come into my life as my Lord and Savior. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I congratulate you if you say that short prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. As the scripture says, you shall like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth this fruit in a season. That its leaves shall not wither and whatsoever you do shall prosper. I pray that you will prosper in whatsoever you do in the name of Jesus. No matter that what comes your way, you will not wither in the name of Jesus. I say you will not wither in the name of Jesus. In this sixth month, whatsoever you do, you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. In this sixth month, the Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy divine help in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. You will not wither in the name of Jesus. You will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. You will not disappoint the Master in the name of Jesus. You will finish well. You will finish strong in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle on your way, they shall be like a chaff which you bring drives away in the name of Jesus. You will see them no more in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle, every conspiracy, let the wind drive them away before you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because you have been planted by that, river, by that rivers of water to bear fruit, to bring glory to God. And that is what you will fulfill in the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Anything that is written against you, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Every unrighteous decree concerning you, I, dis I disallow it in the name of Jesus. Every satanic timetable written about you, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, you will prosper and you will glorify God in the name of Jesus. If you think you are old, there is no more hope. I prophesy there is hope in the name of Jesus. You shall bring forth fruit even at your old age. And you shall grow, be growing to the Lord in the name of Jesus. God bless you so much in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise Jesus. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share the video. And be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I will see you in my next video, God's willing, by His mercy that endure forever. Amen.